talking about earth bed building and sustainable living. So, uh, the basics. What is an earth bag? An earth bag is basically a bag of a variety of different types of earth that's used as a building block to construct a house or a building or something. Uh, the materials used, um, the bag is polypropylene, which is like what they put wheat and corn in, like just like not a burlap sack, but like the plastic version of a burlap sack. I'm sure you felt it, it's like netting, I don't know. Um, and the filling is, you can use almost any inorganic material to fill it, so sand, clay, volcanic rock, pumice, limestone, gravel, rice holes. Um, and then to cover it, after you build it with these big earth bags, you use plaster, stucco, caul, or adobe. And stucco and plaster, I mean, you can use cement, but it's obviously not sustainable, but they're all basically like water and some inorganic, pulverized inorganic material mixed together to form a plaster like substance. And then the construction process is very simple. Um, you basically take the bag, you fill it with a certain amount, depending on how big the bag is, um, a certain amount of your inorganic material. You fold the bag over, you lay it down on the ground, you take an uh, instrument and you pound it. I'll have a picture. You pound it down until it's really dense and hard and everything's packed down. And then you put another one down and you kind of lay them like bricks, like alternating. This is my house that um, my family and the help of many Mexican people built in Mexico. And um, that is the tool that you use to condense everything. That back there is a coffee can, which we used 16 cans per bag. That was like the measurement we used the entire, for the entire house. Um, yeah, so that's it's a very simple process. Anyone can do it. Um, that is a picture of an earth bag house with solar panels. It's a little more high tech. And then there's a picture of another earth bag house, which is more like a hut. A lot smaller, but more basic. Um, the history, the concept is both old and new. It was used by the military to make um, protective barriers to protect against flooding and bullets and bombs. And the costs, they're really, they're like dirt cheap because you're making them out of dirt. So if there's like no cost, basically, our house in Mexico to build Two thousand dollars to build the house, like in with for what we paid for material, because we had limestone on our land and we used that, and then all the bags were recycled, so those were free. Um, like um, you don't need to know very much about anything to build an earth bag house, and if you know just a little, the basic idea, filling the bucket or filling the bag pounding it, laying it like bricks, you can teach other people, and you can build an earth bag house. And, okay, so I'm just show, gonna show you some pictures. This is a clinic in the Philippines, um, like a medical clinic. It's the traditional dome style. I think it's really cool. And when you, when you make these houses, you wanna put windows in. They can either be arcs, and then like that arc over there, it, it, it will have a wooden support until you cover it and then you can take that out and it will, the pre, like the way it's positioned will just hold it in place. But if you want to do like square windows, like that's going to be a square door, you have to keep that wooden frame in. But it does have the potential that you don't need anything except for bags and you can have windows and you can have doors. This is kind of an up close look at the uh, this looks like call what they're using. Um, you can kind of see like the hay and the poop color. It's probably and mud and clay. Probably all organic and stuff. This is a really low budget um, house in Utah. The lady spent like something like five thousand dollars to build it. Um, this is the sand castle that was built by a couple in the Bahamas. But this house was built 
out of white sand, like from the beach, and coral that was being red. Uh, my experience with earth bags, uh, when I was, well, my mom is a midwife, and she always, um, we always went to Mexico for like a couple months here and there, and she would work in this clinic, and like, I don't know why Mexico, but we lived there for a period of time, and then eventually we decided we were going to buy land there. And um, so we bought this land, and we wanted to build a house, but my mom was like, didn't want to, you know, build like a cement house, and she didn't know what to build, and we didn't have a lot of money, so she decided to send me to, she heard about earth bag building, because she had these friends that lived in Mexico, um, and she was like, oh, we're going to build an earth bag house. So she sent me to this center for sustainable living, Kara Kadir, and now it's more of a center, but when I went, it was like tents and like one hut and like a compost toilet. And it was really intense and layer. I basically learned how to build earth bags. And then I went and started building the house. Like I was teaching my mom and these like four 12 year old Mexican boys how to build a house. And I remember we had this argument about A squared, B squared equals C squared. We were like, no, it, like, I don't know. There was like mathematical issues and our house was like kind of like this corner was like this because we messed it up and it's still, it's fine. It's very forgiving type of building. You can mess a lot of things up. So, so building the house, yeah, it was extremely, so it started off, we are like, oh, we're all gonna build it together. And then after it got about five feet tall, we realized that we needed to hire some not professional earth bag builders, but some men that could lift like stuff by you know heavy stuff. So, but I definitely I we put the foundation down and everything, and it was it was a really cool experience working all together. It's just like the beginning of the house when I was still participating. Um, these are the window supports. These, I think those look like metal maybe, but those are wood for the earth bags. This is um, where we dug, this is all limestone, That's so that is what's building the house, that material. Um, this is another view, there's the uh, shower tank, there's our cactus fence, it's really effective. And there, we, oh, there are my grandparents. <laughs> um, but <laughs> those are, that's the roof, because we. You have, if you're doing, you want to do a wooden roof if you're doing this type of horizontal buildings. Um, there's my dog, Chula. She's really good at like scaring off all the wild dogs and she's sitting on a buttress. I know she's small, but she's bad. <laughs> and then that's the inside of the house. That's Talavera, so that's what our toilet looks like. It's really pretty. And yeah, it's like, it's nice, you know, cozy. Um, this is, we painted it red and I don't have any more pictures of the patio, but we're lit. Those rocks were like the um, patio. And that's it. There you go. The rain, it's fine. It's completely fine. Oh, also, we one of the buttresses cracked, and we were like, great, this house is just going to fall over because like 12 year olds built it. But we had, um, <laughs> we had a, a civil engineer come look at it, and he said it was completely like, structurally sound and we should keep investing money in it because it would last forever. Yes. The floors are made out of like clay tiles. Uh, how hot does it get in the summer? Um like in there or out or like inside, the house. inside like it doesn't get above seventy really. It's pretty cool. Like yeah. Nice. And the walls are always like kind of cold and like, it's weird how it's like warm and cold. Thank you guys.